Roy Hodgson's England will be put to the test when they take on Italy in their Euro 2012 quarter-final in Kiev on Sunday. England topped Group D with seven points, while Italy qualified second behind defending champion Spain in Group C. Despite only one victory in the group stages, four-time world champions Italy are notoriously strong in the latter stages of major competitions. Excluding penalties, the Azzurri have lost just two knockout games in 24 years. And Italian head coach Cesare Prandelli is confident of continuing that strong record. We need to play with pace and go onto the field with a lot of intensity and invention. I'm convinced that we can win the game if we pick our moments properly. Prandelli will be without defender Giorgio Chiellini, who picked up a thigh injury in their last match against Ireland. He's likely to be replaced by Leonardo Bonucci. As always with England and the knockout stages, there's talk of penalties. Neither side boasts very impressive penalty shootout records, but it hasn't prompted the England boss to decide who'll take the spot kicks should the game remain a draw after extra time. There'll be a lot of uh, headaches uh, on the bench if we're making those type of decisions, but uh, I rather prefer to consider the game as a game which hopefully we will be able to do well in over the 90 minutes and I'll uh, cross the bridge of penalties when I come to it. Under Hodgson's guidance, England will be aiming to end their disappointing run in tournament football. They failed to beat one of world football's heavyweights in a competitive fixture since the 2002 World Cup, where they were triumphant over Argentina. You know, the atmosphere has been superb in the squad and the confidence and beliefs there. You know, it's just important that all the players seize this opportunity in this moment because, you know, from experience, they don't come round very often. So it's important that we, we leave everything out there and we keep showing to everyone all our doubters and our critics out there that we are good enough you know, to compete with the top teams at this level. The winners of the clash at the Olympic Stadium face a daunting opponent in the next round. Germany awaits in the semi-finals.